What's up? <laughs> Preschool. Hi, it's Miss Holokai here. So, we've been doing our calendar, and Christmas is, what, 15 days away? And uh, Christmas uh, is a time that's filled with uh, gifts and family and dinners, and you go to church, right? And Christmas is a Christian holiday. But we talked about this. Um, not everybody celebrates Christmas because not everybody's Christian. That's the cool thing about America is that in America, here in the United States, you could practice whatever religion um, that you want. So you could be a Christian. You could be a Muslim. You could be Jewish. You could be Hindu. Um, all of those religions, you could go to whatever church you want to. And, um, and it's, it's okay because here in America, we have freedom to do that. Isn't that, isn't that great? So, um, I know that you're probably watching lots of Christmas movies and reading lots of Christmas books, but I wanted to read a book about, um, Muslim culture, uh, people who are mu Muslim. We have some people who are Muslim in uh, our class. Um, uh, Manny is Muslim and, uh, Amar and Ahmad and William and uh, their, their culture is really cool. And I found a really cool book about uh, Muslim culture. It's called Golden Domes and Silver Lanterns, a Muslim book of colors. All right. And it's written by Hena Khan. She's a, the author. And the illustrator is Merdokt Amanini. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Okay. Red is the rug da Dad kneels on to pray, facing toward Mecca five times a day. So, I know in my church, uh, we pray, we fold hands, and sometimes we kneel um, on special things called kneelers. Uh, people who are Muslim, they do it on the, these beautiful rugs. Isn't that cool? Blue is the hijab mom likes to wear. It's a scarf she uses to cover her hair. It's very pretty. So women, uh, Muslim women, they wear they wear they wear hijabs. And they, I've seen really pretty ones with like pearls and rhinestones. It's really cool. Gold is the dome of the mosque, big and grand. Beside it, two towering minarets stand. Okay, so instead of church or temple, um, this is the mosque. And that's that's where they go uh, to pray and to, to worship. It's very beautiful. Look at, look at how it glistens in the sunlight. They also call it masjid, if you go to masjid. And you have to um, wash your hands um, and, and get clean before you go in. And then you put your shoes away. And then the girls go over to pray over here and the boys pray over here. White is a kufi, round and flat. Grandpa wears this traditional hat. So the men wear kufi. Like that. Uh, Jewish people, they have a, a smaller hat called a yarmulke. Black is the ink I used to draw, the Arabic letters that spell Allah. Wow. Isn't that neat? She uses a special pen. Allah is a uh, God. Brown is a date, plump and sweet. During Ramadan, it's my favorite treat. So dates are uh, like a dried fruit. They're, they're very yummy and sweet. And um, Ramadan is their holiday before Eid where they fast. So they, they uh, Muslim, they don't eat uh, during Ramadan and they eat at night when the, when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. And they're fasting to think about um, other people who aren't as fortunate. 
people who don't have food, people who don't have houses, people who don't have clothes, and, and being a little bit hungry helps them think about those things. Orange is the color of my henna designs. They cover my hands in leafy vines. Oh yeah, so henna is like a special kind of dye. And it, it's like a powder and you mix it up with water and you take these little thin sticks and you can make designs on your hands and you have to put bags on your hands and sleep like this. And then when you wake up in the morning, you take the, the bags off and wash your hands and then it's, it's almost like a tattoo, but it'll wash off eventually. My friend Rena, when I was growing up, she was Hindu, and they do they do henna also for weddings and things like that. Purple is an Eid gift, just for me. I open it up and love what I see. Look, it's a new doll! So Eid is the time after Ramadan, and they get presents, and they have big dinners, and family comes over. Just like Christmas, we get presents too, right? And Jewish people, they celebrate Hanukkah. It uh, lasts for uh, eight nights, I think, and they get presents, too. Yellow is the box we fill on Eid with zif gifts of uh, zakat for those in need. So they're putting money in the box uh, to donate to people who, who need money um, because uh, Eid is a time of giving. Just like during Christmas, uh, we'll give food uh, to food pantries or at my church, people who need socks and gloves, we put socks and gloves on a tree and they, they take them to people in need. Green is the Quran I read with pride. Grandma explains the lessons inside. So the Quran is their holy book. It's a very, very, very important book. Um, just like for Christians, the Bible is the important book, and um, for uh, Jewish people, the, the Torah is an important book. Uh, the Quran is Muslim, very holy book. Silver is a fanus, a twinkling light, a shiny lantern that glows at night. Of all the colorful things we've seen, make up the world of my faith, my deen. All right, the end. I love that story. So remember, everybody's different. So everybody celebrates differently. Everybody has different holidays. Everybody worships differently. And that's what makes everybody so special. Okay, bye.